My name is Laura Marie Clark, and I'm from Marcy, New York. Throughout my experience in college, I did several study abroads. And these study abroads really opened my eyes to the world as a whole and um, the need to examine cross-culturally in today's society and how important that is. Um, and as I read more into the Fulbright program, it's, it's exactly that idea, coming from the US or sending the, to the US, so this cultural exchange. So when I read the description of Fulbright, um, and it said it was created to um, cultivate meaningful relations between different cultures. Um, in my case, going to another culture and transmitting the English language and US culture, I really thought that's kind of what I do already. Um, in my study abroad, so that's what I'm doing. Um, something that had a really big impact on me and solidified this need and desire to really go was this past summer. So in summer 2012, I spent um, two months in Guatemala in um, a rainforest village um, with Mayan people. And I taught English for two months. I taught English to about 12 to 16 year olds, um, a group of university students, um, small group of adults. And I realized that as a language student myself, I really appreciated being on the other side and being able to work through language and cultural barriers to promote understanding between peoples. Each class in the honors program is just designed to push you that much more. Um, so I found myself doing extra projects, doing things outside of class. And now I'm finishing the honors program. Um, I wrote my thesis and um, the thesis is supposed to culminate your experience in terms of your academic disciplines. Um, so my, both of my majors are women and gender studies and Spanish. So I wrote my thesis in Spanish on a Chilean poet and kind of um, I'm searching what her feminism was, what did her writing say, what did it do for women, what did it say about women, was it good, was it bad, how do, how do I view it basically through a literature review. And the whole process has been really incredible. Uh, it feels like it's flown by. Um, I feel very supported. I've really found a home in the honors program. The people that I took um, classes with first semester and I, we still talk. We still reminisce about a few years ago how we started and we were so young and now we're finishing our theses and it's just such a crazy idea. I would definitely say do it. Um, I was very much in high school, shocker, an overachiever, did way too many things. And when I got to college, I said, I will not do this, I will not do this. And obviously that didn't go so well. But it ends up being worth it. Um, college isn't the time to sit back. So if you have the opportunity to push yourself forward, to stick your head up a little higher, to really, really delve into something, do it. Um, the thesis sounds terrifying in the beginning, and it does, but once you get there, you realize I have been prepared, I have been cultivated. I started writing in honors, I've worked my way up, and now I'm culminating with a writing experience. And it's really, it's really beneficial. Um, okay, so, in order to cover myself a little bit, I applied for a Fulbright, and I also applied to um, a graduate program through Erasmus Mundus, which is through the European Union. Um, my hope is to get a master's in human rights and continue that into working for an agency that works with women's and children's rights, hopefully with a Spanish-speaking population. Um, so that's what I'm gearing myself towards. Um, I hope to reapply again to Erasmus so that after Fulbright, I can complete this um, master's, which is the title is Master's of Arts in Human Rights Policy and Practice. And that would also be in Europe. So that's the hope. I, um, all of my events really have culminated to me wanting to work with human rights because it has, it, it makes sense. I study languages, I study 
women and gender studies, and I realized that there are a lot of injustices that are rampant throughout the world. And um, it kind of all goes in hand with the idea to learn more and to use leadership as, as an agent of change.